And we are in Pokemon 97, the gold version speed up phase. Let's lower a bit the volume and we can jump right in. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. As you may know, this world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them, but we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteri uh, mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Well, it's simple. My name is as always... Soldery. My name is Sado. <laughs> ah, so you are Sado. Yes. This boy has been friends with you. Since childhood. Is that right? Mm, don't know him. Um, what was his name again? Silva? Ah, that's right. Silva was his name. Zelda, before you start your journey, you'll have to set the date and the time. What day is it? Um, we're having at the moment Saturday. Saturday is it? Yes. What time is it? Uh, it's early in the morning, so it's 8. Is it uh, morning 8 o'clock? Yes. How many minutes? Perfectly eight. I'm completely fine with that. Saturday, Adam Airman. Is that right? Yes. Sado, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures. With Pokemon and Waits. Let's go! I'll be seeing you later. <laughs> and as you guys can see, it's the beta version. And hey bro, that shiny thing on your wrist. You finally got a Pokegear. Sweet, but since it's new and all, you can't really do much with it. Yet at least. Have man help you set it up. Maybe I'll get you the map card. You know, if there was ever, uh, ever a reason you'd need it. Come see me later before you head out anywhere. Oh yeah, I think I saw that you got a new email on your PC. You might want to check that before you leave. Well, fine, then we check the PC. What's this, a new email? I hope you excused the sudden email, but there is something that I would like to entrust you with. Won't you come by to collect it? 
Pokemon Research Oak. Looks like we go and visit Oak. Or not. Oh, Sado! You're not po in your, in the, your, your new Poke Gear isn't set up yet. Let's get that done before you head out. Pokemon Gear or just Poke Gear? It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. That time isn't adjusted yet. You mustn't, you mustn't forget that. Is it daylight saving time now? Mm, no. Hey Dan, is that okay? Yes. That's it. I think it's all working. Zelda's Poke Gear is now set up. Come home to adjust your clock for daylight saving time. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? I think it's like in the original gold and silver version. Still, it can't be bad if I ask. No. I read the instructions. Turn the Poke Gear on and select the phone icon. Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? By the way, that friend of yours stopped by looking for you. He's probably still close by. I'm sure you will be uh, you'll bump into him soon. Okay. So let's get back to him. Okay. So let's return to where did Ah, there she is. Silver, hey Silo. There's something I gotta brag to you about. I got an email from Professor Oak. Yeah, that famous one. You got one too? Man, that's no fun. Hmm. Hmm, well, you, uh, what do you call your mother again? I, uh, what? I have to give my mother a name? Call her Freya. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Calling her something so childish is hilarious. Well, I'm off to Oaks. See you there. Uh, okay. See you there, I guess. Yo, Sado. Looks like Professor Oak isn't here. I wonder when he would have expected us to show up. Hmm, I guess I have an idea how to find him. Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. You don't e even appear to be a Pokemon trainer. Sorry kid, but I can, on can only let qualified trainers pass through. Then it's not that way. He also is not in the Pokemon Center. Which is, for some reason, in the... Beginning City? Ah! Wait! Stop! What do you think you're doing? Uh, I was looking for Professor I uh, Oak. It's dangerous to go out with uh, without a Pokemon. Wild Pokemon jump out of the grass on the way to the next town. You need your own Pokemon for protection. Ah, wait. Are you perhaps... Come with me. Okay, Professor Oak. Professor Oak just got back in. He's waiting to see you. 
Okay. Zelda, there you are. <laughs> I can't believe this old Jesus, Professor Oak. Oak, in indeed, I am Professor Oak. You have got quite a mouth on you. Won't you listen for a while? One year ago in Kanto, I entrusted two boys with a Pokemon and a Pokedex, each to assist in my research. In the end, they did an astounding job. They succeeded in documenting 150 species of Pokemon. However, new Pokemon are being found all over Nihon. Which, by the way, is the name of the region. Yes, in the beta, Johto was not called Johto. Therefore, I moved my lab from Kanto to here, Silent Town, to further m my research. My grandson Blue and my Aida's help. But it's not quiet enough. Zelda. Silver. Please help me research Pokemon. Hey, Zelda. This just got this just got interesting. Won't you two follow me to the back? Mm, I guess I do. Ah, look over here, over there, on the table are three Pokeballs. Each of you choose one to be your own partner Pokemon. We both get one? I get one too? Yes, of course. Go on, choose. I'll let you choose first, Zelda, because I'm a gen uh, generous kind of guy. Yeah. Hehehe. <laughs> I want it. We'll take Flambear. The fire Pokemon. Yes. I think that's a great Pokemon too. So to receive Fla Flame Bear. I got a Flame Bear. Woo. Uh, no, I don't want to give it a nickname. You sure you choose right, Zelda? I think this Pokemon looks much stronger. Silver received Crucial. Your partner Pokemon will be an important ally as well as your friend. Be sure to treat it kindly. Now both of you should go see Blue. He has something important to give to you. Oh. Blue. Ah, I see you both got a Pokemon. Here, I have something else for you. Ah, the Pokedex. I used to want to be the world's best Pokemon trainer, but when I got too arrogant, there was someone who showed me humili uh, humility. Zelda, you remind me of him. And Silva, you remind me of myself. Right, though. So, here, take this Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. Zelda received Pokedex. Well, so far it goes pretty quick. With that Pokedex, you are ready to begin the adventure of a lifetime. Route 101 and Silent Hills would be great places to start looking for Pokemon. If you want to get Pokeballs, you should head towards Pagota City, nearby the big sum up at their mark. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with the Pokemon Center, just behind the lab. Be free to use it any time. 
I'm sure you'll do great. But just in case, here's my phone number. Call me if anything comes up. Better get po Oak's phone number. Sure. Zelda, Silver, I'm counting on you both. Oh, let's start the adventure. Zelda, you're not getting off that easy. Who gave us these Pokemons and now we gotta battle them? I'm not gonna hold back. <coughs> you are like every rival and will probably get destroyed. <coughs> Just saying it. Silver wants to battle. Silver's hand out Crucio. Oh, it's cute. Go, Flame Bear. Well, so far the beta content is pretty well made. Of course, it's not all the beta content just because the creator had only a limited amount of uh, stuff that was in the beta, so it is a ROM hack basically. But it's based on the beta content and filled out with the canon content from the normal gold edition. So I expect to see a lot of new content, but also some kind of twisted and reused content of the normal gold and silver version. And we get 70 XP. Lambert grew to level 6. And learned raw. Silver was defeated. Wow, I thought my Pokemon would have been the best. And we got 300 Pokedollar. Zelda, I'm so ready to show the world how great my Pokemon is. I'll see you around soon. Okay. The boy who brought you, he is my little brother. In other words, I'm Professor Oak's granddaughter. Grandpa's a fantastic researcher, but he can be a little forgetful. He was also supposed to give you this. And we got a potion. I'll also throw in a few Pokeballs to help you out. And we got Pokeballs. But like Grandpa said, if you need more Pokeballs, you can find them at just about any mod. Also, we can't have your family worrying, so make sure to say goodbye to your mom and Ken before you leave town. I'll be rooting for you. Uh, thanks, Blue Sister. Mom, I'm leaving. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? What a question! So you're leaving on an adventure? Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? No, I'll save money for you. On a long journey, money is important. Do you want to save your money? Sure. Okay, I'll take care of your money. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. Now, go on. Okay. Hey there. Hey, bro. Professor Oak asked you to help him make a new Pokedex. Well, good thing I got this for you. And we got the map card. Now your Poker Gear can help you keep track of where you are at. You'll never get lost with this. Also guess what? I got an interview for a job as a radio DJ in Westport City. I could be on the radio, bro. 
listen for me in the future. And good luck out there. Okay. Uh, it looks like we can make our save and go on our big adventure. With only one Pokemon so far. But a lot of fun in the beta version. Do I need to heal it? No, it got healed. What Pokemon did we find here? Of course, Pidgeys. What else could you find in the tall grass of the first route you enter? Oh no, he attacked me. What should I do? Rich. Don't defeat it! God damn it! I'm supposed to catch it! Well, hey now. You sure look like a rookie trainer. And. Oh yeah. That's how you do it! Oh wow! Really? That's how I catch Pokemon! Nice! Now back to the business. Puffet, on the first road. Okay. At least it's not a Galarian one. Well, that's bad. That's the Galarian one can they both. But it should deal damage. Uh, not a potion, please. Here's the Pokeball. So on the first route we get Farfetch'd and Pidgey. In order to prevent their extinction, more people have made an effort to breed these Pokemon. That's noble of them. <laughs> and a Pidgey. Well, Pidgey, I'm to get you. This time you won't die that easily, hopefully. And you, <laughs> you hopefully don't kill me. But the potion, goddammit, I don't want to catch a Pokemon by throwing a potion at its face. Even if that would be funny. You got a Pidgey. <laughs> It rapidly flaps its wings in the grass, steering up a dust cloud that drives insects prey out in insect prey out into the open. Clever. Really clever. Oops. What's the speed up button? Yeah, you can heal the Pokemon to perfect health. Now do it and let me continue catching Pokemon. So what's in here? You found the potion! Woo! And we got a berry. Yeah, the tutorial lady that tells you, yeah, that just can't be jumped over. Oh, really? This... Oh, no. A 
Let's see if we encounter something else than Peachy and Farfetched. Ah, a hop it. With a different design, of course. But yeah, not every Pokemon had the design it has nowadays. So, yeah. Here we have Poppet. Stay in the goddamn Pokeball, please! I only have five! <sighs> I see myself running out of Pokeballs. Stay inside! Town. So it's floating. All the time floating. At least it's not flighting. And with that, I see you in the next episode and will off screen level up my Pokemon a bit since, yeah. I think I can skip the grinding level part for you guys so it stays interesting and filled with new content. 